Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we're going to be looking at a long range vertical TNT cannon. So this thing may sound very simple but it, it's actually a lot more complex than it looks. Even though it is quite small it can do quite a lot of stuff. So what this thing is mostly used for is if you are firing up at a base or you have some something that you want to hit but is way too high for you to hit like let's say it's 50 or 100 blocks high, then this thing will do the job and it will do the job extremely well. So that's the really only use for this cannon and it's just a really, really nice and compact vertical TNT cannon. So let's take a look at it in action. So what we have here is an 8 high panel of glass that is roughly 50-60 blocks above the actual TNT cannon and this is just so we can show off how this thing actually works and how high it can go. So if we come down here and press the button, TNT at the bomb is going to dispense and then TNT up here is going to dispense and then the piston is going to retract and it's going to fire up here and as you can see it just creates quite a bit of damage and it is really accurate as you can see. You can actually make it more accurate but um, as you can see it did quite a bit of damage and it's just really powerful and gets the job quite done while still being quite a simple little machine. So let's take a look at the redstone. So to start off with what we have here is our button which is the central component and to start off with it only goes off in two directions. So the first thing it does is it activates all these six dispensers down the bottom. They may not sound like much but it actually does quite a bit of, bit of propellant because the TNT comes just above it before it fires off into the air so you get the most effect out of the TNT and that allows it to only use 10 TNT, 10 TNT which is really good. So the next thing that happens is it goes eight ticks along here before it activates this piece of redstone here which then activates these top dispensers and the only reason for that is so the bottom ones activates the bottom one activates before the top one does so that way you can get the height and it won't just explode your cannon and it can get to the midpoint which is the highest point of where the TNT is before it goes back down so it can explode there and all that happens after that is it goes all the way around here and down here in a really really long clock so that way it can retract the piston in just the right time so it can the TNT then drops down to here roughly this block here and then the TNT fires there and then it just goes straight up at high speed. And the great thing about this cannon is I've made it so that you can adjust the speeds. So what I mean by that is you can change this down to 6 ticks so that way it fires slightly earlier in case you actually hit something. And over here you can just extend this to 8. So for that reason, you can have this be half the height, which is not that great, but if you hit a block, then it's just going to fall and not do that much damage, and it's just going to be like a flop, floppy noodle, which is not very funny, not very fun. So that's really the only point of that. But anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. So now onto the tutorial. So what we have here is a 5x5 area, which is what you're going to need with this glass representing where there are going to be no blocks placed at all. So if you need this extra space for some odd reason, then it is there. So what you're going to need is some building blocks, 10 dispensers, 16 redstone, 10 redstone repeaters, a redstone torch, a sticky piston, a button, it doesn't really matter what kind this time, and a water source block. So to start off with, we're just going to build the base. So what you want to do is place two blocks here and then dispensers along here. So this is going to be your six main ones. Then you want to place a water source block under you. And then you want to leave a gap where you're going to have all your redstone on top of the dispensers. So you want to place redstone there. Then you can then place your four dispensers above it like so. And placing them may be a wee bit hard, but it should look something like this. And then we can just fill up the top here by creating a little ring. It can be a half circle as long as all the redstone connects like so. So now we're going to do the main redstone. So you want to place a block here with your red, with your button on the side like so. Then you want to come out two blocks here, place a block on top like so. Then come out here again and place another block on top like so. And then come all the way around here, place a block on top here and a block underneath here. And then some more blocks going underneath here and a block here. After that you want to come on the inside here and place a temporary block there. So that way you can place your sticky piston facing inwards like so. And then you want to place your block here. After that place your redstone torch here. And then we're going to start spamming down redstone Peter. So place down two here. Then your redstone along here like so. And then you just want to go along this ring placing redstone repeaters like so. All set to four ticks delay except your last one which is going to be here set to two and then you want to place a piece of redstone here. 
So all you have to do now is fill up each of your dispensers with TNT and you are good to go and you should be going ahead and destroying everyone's bases in no time. So anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If it's a bit shorter, two reasons. One, I've been having some computer problems and two, I'm knee deep in my exams right now. They're actually over next Wednesday, which is good. But I've just been doing some shorter videos lately because I've had about a month of exams and it's just sort of caught up to me. So anyway, goodbye from TNT Madness. <laughs>